Hello my friends! Today I would like to show you how I knit my Falma beading. What we're gonna need is two circular knitting needles. One is size 8 US and one is size 11 US. And for yarn I am gonna use um, Malabrigo Rasta. I am going to use this natural color. It's so soft if you don't uh, know this. Um, I highly recommend this one. It's gonna look so beautiful, so soft, warm and cozy. All right, let's start with our yarn put in a bowl. And we are gonna cast on 40 stitches and I'm going to use the size 8 uh, circular knitting needle for the this part, the brim, because I want this to be tighter. All right, so I said it's gonna be 40 stitches so you can cast on how you normally would cast on it really doesn't matter. This is what I use. This is the cast on I used. I don't know the name of it. I just, uh, I was taught when I was very young. Uh, so this is what I use. And I will meet you here when I have 40 stitches. All right. I have 40 stitches on my uh, circular knitting needles. We have to make sure all the stitches are facing the same way. There is no twists and turns. You do, certainly don't want that. So now we are going to connect those stitches in the round, creating a circle. And we are going to start knitting the brim one knit one purl all the way around one knit one purl for the brim we are going to continue um, knitting one knit and one purl for nine rows Once we are all finished with nine rows of the brim, we are gonna switch our knitting needle size for the larger size. And we are gonna just knit throughout this whole row. So that is row 10. And we are just knitting and switching on the larger knitting needle. Just like that. Row 11 is the first row when we are starting to create this pattern. And this is how we're gonna do it. One, two, three, knit, slip one, put it behind work, knit one, and then knit the one from behind the work. One, two, three, one slip, put it behind work, one knit, and one knit from behind, and we're gonna continue. As you can see, uh, the pattern is not very visible at first, but we are gonna continue just following the pattern. And as you can see, this is when we, the, the 
little twist so we are gonna do it on this stitch and as we continue it's gonna create that beautiful rose like that You can see this a little more clearly now. 